now in studio joining me is Ndegwa Njiru, who is an advocate of the High Court. Let's just uh, take a look at the last day of Chief Justice Willy Mutunga and uh, the kind of legacy he has he is leaving behind. Thank you very much for coming Thank into the studio. Much. And I will definitely start with the ruling that we saw earlier yes. on in the day uh, the, that uh, where they refused to grant the stay orders for yes. DCJ uh, Kalpana Rawal. Mm. What does this now mean for Justice Kalpana Rawal and Philip Tunoe? Is there any loophole or any opening for them to make an appeal or something? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the substantive ruling was done on uh, Tuesday when uh, the five bench judges sat to adjudicate over uh, Mr. Mutata's application right. for them to recuse themselves. And basically, like we witnessed, three of the judges recused themselves and they say they have no, they have no competence to handle that uh, uh, matter. And so essentially what then that meant is that uh, the matter had traced at that. Mm -hmm. But the court was very clear uh, in its determination. They said that they have not determined whether or not the Supreme Court has jurisdiction mm -hmm. to hear that matter. They only said because two of the judges, that is uh, the Chief Justice Mutunga, mm -hmm and uh, uh, Justice uh, Smoking Wajala sits in the JSC. Mm -hmm. They felt that they are not competent enough to handle that matter. Conflict of interest? Because of the conflict mm -hmm. of interest, they sit in the JSC as well, and the JSC was a party in that matter. And of course, uh, uh, Justice Abra Ibrahim had also, of course his own reasons why mm -hmm. he felt that he is not competent enough. Right. Essentially, then that, what that means is that appeal can still succeed in the event a new or uh, a new bench is constituted. Mm -hmm. So Kapran Rawal and uh, Tunoy can still proceed with the appeal mm -hmm. the moment a new bench will be constituted. Okay. But the question is, when is a new bench going to be constituted and who is going to constitute it? Mm -hmm. Because the person who has the power to constitute a bench is the Chief Justice. All right. In his absence, the Deputy Chief Justice. And we do not have both. We are, we are in a situation whereby the two of them have exited the judiciary. Mm -hmm. So essentially, she has to wait for the bench to be constituted mm -hmm. and a new Chief Justice be appointed. All right. And uh, definitely taking a look at that ruling, we also have uh, investigations into yes. robbery allegations uh, for Justice Philip Tunoy. Where, where does this uh, place that tribunal? Has it been rendered superfluous, so to speak? Exactly, as you say. Uh, the law provided that if a judge of the Court of Appeal, the judge of the Supreme Court, or the judge of the High Court has been suspected of probably mis uh, gross misconduct or probably of violating the Constitution, a, a tribunal has to be constituted. And this quasi-judicial tribunal is being constituted to investigate a judge, not a layman. As we are speaking, Honorable Justice Tunoy is a layman. He's, he doesn't belong to the bench. So that tribunal, of course, uh, has been overtaken by events. If he still feels that he needs to clear his name vis-a-vis -vis the affidavit that had been brought forward against him, mm -hmm. then he has to go to the normal courts like we do. He has to file a case mm -hmm. to have uh, the, substant the substance of the, um, the, the affidavit uh, investigated by, by a court, right. not a tribunal at the moment. Okay. So the tribunal at the moment is what we say in law, is of, of course uh, factors of issue. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have anything to do at the moment. Mm -hmm. yes. So at the moment it is quite irrelevant. They have to park, like that. They have to park mm -hmm. their things, mm -hmm. their records, and unfortunately they are parking without having to leave any uh, jurisprudence for the archives. Yes. yes. All right, you've mentioned that um, there's an opening that, uh, or there's a possibility yes. that the DCJ uh, Kalpana, Kalpana Rawal can appeal yes. uh, only if the bench is uh, reconstituted. Yes. But at the same time, the Judicial Service Commission has already advertised for the jobs of Chief Justice and Deputy Chief Justice, and something that uh, was raised by lawyer Fer Feroz, yes. who said that uh, there was a lifeline, and there was a possibility of a lifeline for Kalpana Rawal, but uh, the Judicial Service Commission has gone ahead and already advertised without uh, caring to see whether the uh, case has uh, been put to a finality, so to speak. So uh, what happens now? They can appeal. You say they can appeal, yes. but, but uh, the Judicial Service Commission has already advertised for jobs. What happens now? Remember, uh, unfortunately, Kalpana Rawal and Justice uh, Tunoy, they found themselves in, at a crossroad in the event whereby the Chief Justice is also exiting. Remember, 
the bench for it to be properly constituted, the quorum is that of five judges. So even if they were to get a stay of 21 days, they still they could have a problem because the chief justice has existed. The four judges of the Supreme Court who have now remained cannot sit even to adjudicate over any other matter because of the question of the quorum. Now, the appointment and the advertisement of um, new judges mm -hmm. is actually in the interest of Justice uh, Tunoi and in the interest of Justice Kapana Rawal in the event that a bench will be constituted. So what, we, what then we are saying is, there are going to be three judges of the Supreme Court, one of them being a Chief Justice and a Deputy Chief Justice, mm -hmm. who are going to come in. And remember the law says that it has given some time limits when these uh, slots have been filled in, especially uh, that of the Chief Justice must be done expeditiously mm -hmm. because the law provides that in the event of a, a vacancy in the office of the Chief, Just, uh, Chief Justice, the Deputy Chief Justice will act as a Chief Justice for six months. We are in a situation whereby the two of them have now exited. Mm -hmm. So the question is whether or not we are still bound by the six months provided by the law, mm -hmm. or the JSC will expedite the process and appoint these three judges expeditiously, All right. so that Kalpan Rawal's appeal can still have time. The question then is, in the event whereby then there, there, there is replacement, mm -hmm. and that is why Senior Moite was saying, Senior Counsel Moite was saying, in the event where the appeal is heard, and the court finds that they, they, they ought to, to retire at 74, mm -hmm they can be compensated by way of an award of damages mm -hmm. for the unserved term. But not going back to They office. cannot go back. Mm -hmm. They cannot go back right. because uh, I think their die is cast. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they find themselves at that crossroad. Yes. All right. Uh, thank yes. you very much for coming thank in and helping much. us understand. It has been such a complicated journey of yes. the Supreme Court. And yes. uh, it was really nice to have you in the studio just trying to break it down for us. Thank you for coming in. That was Ndegwanjiru, who is an advocate of the High Court.